What's up, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to talk about two, it's a video on two different things. Two different things. The first one is the Power Up Stones event, alright? But first, before that, I want to get to this bad boy right here. This is an article from Sauce Inc. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys if you want to see it. Uh, read it for yourself. Basically, the whole, it's called Summoner's War Behind the Scenes in the Mobile Esports World. Again, with this esports... Esports, Summoner's War as an esport is about as legitimate and fair as going to the World Series of Poker and giving people two different decks of cards. One's got twos and threes, one's got a shit ton of aces and kings, right? Super fair! Super, this is totally fair guys, totally a sport. Totally, totally legit sport. Anyway, uh, I know a lot of you are like, yeah, esport, whatever. Uh, seriously. Like, the tournaments are okay, love tournaments. They're super fun. Why can't you just call them tournaments? Why do you have to call them eSport? It's not skill-based, it's luck-based. Summoner's War is a luck-based game, okay? Mostly luck-based game. Some, like, team building is skill. There's, there's elements of skill in there, but come on, man. Come on. You're trying to tell me the person with all nat twos and threes is going to be able to compete against... Same runes is going to compete against, like, the five and... The, 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 the five, nat five monsters and the light dark crazy monsters. I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. It's not, no. You level the playing field. If you level the playing field and you get, and you have like a monster list, here's, here's, here's how to make it an eSport, right? Here's how to make it a legitimate eSport. Start of the tournament, randomly, 40 monsters, 40 monsters are in there at the beginning of the, like you have, let's say, you have um, 40 monsters, and then the first person picks one of those 40 monsters. Not the monsters that they have, not their monsters, just 40 random monsters. All six star, all awakened, all max skills, right? 40 monsters, first person picks one, second person picks two, third person picks two, but they're picking out of that 40 monster box that the same players are picking out of, right? And then they also get, like, and then they have several rune builds. And they can go choose one of those rune builds and put that on the monster. And then you go in equal playing field. That's a sport, okay? You want to talk about esports? That's how you do it. Aside from that, this is not this is not an esport. Anyway, that's my rant. But we're we're getting we're getting sidetracked already. Two minutes into the video, we're already getting sidetracked. That's I think that's a fair. If you want to do esports, that's the fair way to do it. But they'll never do that. They will never do that. But call them tournaments. I mean, regular the way the world arena is. Call them tournaments. That's fine. Don't call them sports. Um, uh, we love esports both ways. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know. You talk to the PC games, PC gamers, and see how they feel about mobile esports being actual esports. Uh, so, there's a lot of stuff about esports again here. It's just about that Comptos wants Summoner's War to be an esport, and maybe it'll work in Korea, but it, I don't see it. I don't see the rest of the. I don't see the global market accepting it as, as much as they want, uh, as, as much as Comptos wants them to. Uh, so anyway, uh, here's what we need to talk about though. There's another problem with mobile games, uh, which is basically what I just talked about. Constant gameplay, updates are complex, blah, blah, blah. Add RPG elements, leveling up, upgrading. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not fair to new- It's not that it's not fair to newcomers, it's that, I mean, it is a pay to win game. It is a pay, you, you pay, and you are stronger, for the most part. Uh, sometimes you just get unlucky, right? Uh, but... Uh, mobile heals, mobile games don't need years on the market before new players find themselves face up front with an uphill battle to just get into the game. Yes, that's true. New players are, it's hard for them to, keep, like, to get up to speed with the rest of everyone else, right? And that's just how it is. That's the way they made the game, but then there's, 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 there's two ways to think about it. Like, that's the way they made the game. Well, maybe they should make it where new players can get, get up faster, but then that pisses off the old players. That's like, how, why did I spend all this time grinding and doing all this stuff just so someone else can catch up to me in like a month? Um, so there's no way to keep everyone happy. There really isn't. There's no way to keep everyone happy. Uh, so yeah, so common player complaints, how they could not get up to speed for veterans as well. But I think they've, they, they mentioned some of the things that I, that I was talking about as well. Uh, so how do you keep an influx of not only competitors, but of players in general? Recently there's a major update including a new guide, positive feedback, balancing the game regular- BALANCING THE GAME REGULARLY! Uh, how- how long have we been talking about a balance patch and there it's still- it's, like, it has not come, we don't know when it's coming. Um, uh, so here's another thing, will we realize- Uh, it's hard to acquire 5 star monsters in RPG games, these hardships are necessary- no, this is not it, where was I? 
Uh, let's see. Oh, here's here it is. Contras is plunging, and this is from the lead developer of the the games, the Contras Games Division. Uh, Comptuous is plunging in all this knowledge together to keep Summoner's War a top contender in eSports. Let's again with the eSports. Speaking of all-high tournament, we've already been collecting an enormous amount of data. We plan to increase the chance of acquiring five-star monsters. Let's stop for a second. We plan to increase the chance of acquiring five-star monsters. This is from Comptuous devs. Not from Comptuous customer support, not from this, not from that. This is from the lead dev. Uh, they are planning to increase the chance of acquiring 5-star monsters, as well as the number of scrolls dropped. And we've recently made some legendary gear, uh, available via crafting. Does- okay, we've recently made some legendary gear, uh, gear available. Does that mean that they've made those changes in the game and that's what we're going to see in the next update? Or does that mean- or are they talking about the stuff that we've already seen legend legendary gear? I mean, I don't see that we've- the homunculus is that legendary, but it's not really. Uh, it's not really too much uh, player versus player. But this chance of acquiring a five-star monster, how? Uh, increased chances of acquiring a five-star monster doesn't mean they're buffing the drop rates. Does that mean that they're actually going to release the actual drop rates so that new players can be like, oh god, that's disgusting. Oh my Jesus, I am not playing this game. Because uh, I think that's what's going to happen. If the new players see that it's like a less than 1% chance to less than even half of a 1% chance to acquire a 5 star monster, uh, then I think they're going to be like, what is going on? I don't know if I like this. Uh, as well as the number of scrolls dropped, which is nice. They actually, they nerfed the number of scrolls dropped. You used to be able to get scrolls a little bit easier in the beginning of the game. So I guess they're going back to that. Um, okay, that's that's good. But I don't know, planning on increasing the chance of acquiring 5-star monsters. I, is this 1% chance? Is this 5 If it was 1% chance, I don't think they would be flaunting it. Or not flaunting it, but, but talking about it, right? So... How much... Well, I mean, actually 1% is a huge... It's actually a huge difference! Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If, if, if they made, if they added... 1% that means in every 50 scrolls... No, I'm sorry, in every 100 scrolls... Do I not know what 1% is? In every 100 scrolls, like, if they if they made it 1% more, the chance of getting a nat 5, that would be every 100 scrolls, you, like, you're more likely to get one nat 5. So, that's... I don't know, I don't know how much this is gonna be, but if they double the rates, that's already crazy. I don't know, I don't know what they're talking about. Increase the chance of acquiring 5-star monsters, so... I don't think they're talking about fusion, right? They wouldn't be talking about that. They'd be like, oh, more five... Then they would say, more five stars will be available in Fusion for players to use. Uh, are they talking about Homunculus? I don't think that they're talking about those. I think that they're actually talking about increasing the drop rates. So, increasing the drop rates and the number of scrolls dropped. Maybe they're... Maybe... It's, it, I don't... I don't know, guys. I mean, this is gonna... This is gonna be good for new players. Right? This is gonna be good for players that are like, Oh, I really... I was wondering about spending money, but I know the drop rates suck. Maybe I should spend money now. So maybe I think they'll make more money that way, but... At the at the cost of maybe pissing off some of the players that are like, How much money did I already spend? Now you're gonna increase the drop rates. Now everyone else that's spending less than me gets the same stuff as me. How is that fair? I feel like I kinda got robbed, you know? Um... So I'm, um, I'm kind of both ways about this myself. I mean, I don't think... No matter what they do, it's not going to make everyone happy, right? There's nothing There's nothing that they can do. There's a couple things they can do to make everyone happy. But most changes they make are not going to make everyone happy. So I'm just letting you guys know that this is literally what they said. Apparently, to according to Sauce Inc., this is what the lead developer of Comptuous Games Division said. All right. Damn, damn, that was that was some drama and a half. What do you guys think about that? Uh, and then we have this collect points and get power up stones. Less drama. Oh, and now we're on to the. Uh, just show us the sh shit we get for free, Jubik. Just show us the shit we get for free. Uh, so what do we have here? We have increase. Uh, get runes, get grindstones, and then we get points. We could use the points to get these bad boys. Uh, exchange complete. Get power up stones. So I'll show you guys what I like to use. Oh, we'll get these. We'll get these. Basically, if you want to do this the fastest way possible, uh, if you have a fast Giants team, that's going to be the fastest way to uh, get all these per day. 
uh, to max it out. Cool that they give you a light dark scroll. Cool that they give you some uh, mystical scrolls and some crystals. Always good. I mean, all the events are good. You know, if you're free to play, definitely do all the events. Uh, and then, yeah, just the fastest, like, a giant B10, just grind it. Grind dungeons and, and get them. All right. It's all about just putting the time in. What do we have here? Do we get some stuff? I was talking too long. I was talking too long, guys. So where do I really want it? Where do I want to use these? Where do I want to use these? I want to use these on, let's say... Uh, I have a good rune. Where do I have a good rune? No, no, no. This one. This one. Looks good. Got speed on it. Uh, six star runes like this. Six star legendary runes are going to be the best value. No, actually, not, not six star legendary runes. Six star runes that are plus 12 to plus 15. So, like, I see that. I don't want to use the grindstones on that yet. Actually, I think we get them from... We get them from here. We get them from here. We get them from here. But I don't want to use them on 1, 2... Like, there's no point in using them, like, leveling things up from 1 to 3, or 1 to 6, or even to 9. You get the most value of doing them, like, the last 3. So, who do I even... I don't even know who I need. I think Zyros. I think Zyros number 2 has a couple that he needs to be... Yeah, we use the power-up stones on Zyrus number two. But this is what I this is what I would use these power-up stones for. After you get to plus 12, the cost per... Like, you get the most mana stone efficient uh, upgrades by doing it this way. So every time you use a power-up stone, you're basically saving... Kind of tr trying to save 14,850 crystals or whatever. Whereas if you did it for, like, one to... Like, plus one to whatever. Plus one, two, three to power them up. Uh, let's see. Why do I even save some of these rooms? I don't even know. I don't even know, sucker. I don't even know. Let's find... Yeah, powering these up. You only save 750 crystals if you get a successful one. So, uh, 750 mana. Oh my god, mana! If you get a successful one. So this is what... Uh, you want to go plus 12 to plus 15. These are the most efficient ones to do. Alright, guys. Alright. That's it for... That's it for the video. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the... I think there's gonna be a lot of a lot of people commenting, getting rage. I think there's 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 arguments both ways. Like, some people are gonna be excited about the... you think that everyone would be excited about more Nat 5s, but I can see some players that have spent a lot of money that are like, why weren't the rates increased, like, the entire time at, when I was spending all that money? Why, why, why are they just increased now? Like, this is great for new players, but where was this? I spent all this money, I feel like I got robbed, you know? But I think those players feel like they got robbed anyway, half the time. They're like, I didn't even get the monsters I needed. Still don't have a Galleon. Still don't have a Vertigo. You know, those players. Not me. I'm just saying for the other the other players. Anyway, guys. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's it. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can see the article. I will see you, as always, in the next video.